Welcome into the Recap Rush Hour for Tuesday, the 22nd of November. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by Chevy Drive, Chicago.com, your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. Let's get right to it. Bears update. First of all, there is some hope that Justin Fields, according to Ian Rappaport of the NFL Network, could actually play Sunday when the Bears play the Jets in New York, in New Jersey, actually. The Jets had six sacks of Mac Jones the other day in a loss to the New England Patriots. I don't understand why you would play this kid when he had a dislocated shoulder on Sunday. Don't tell me, well, he's healthy and the doctors have cleared him. There is no point in exposing him to getting hit that many more times. But we'll wait to see what the doctors say and we'll hopefully get an update on Wednesday from Coach Matt Eberflus. Bears again and Jets noon Sunday at the Meadowlands. Also, DeAndre Houston Carson is the Bears nominee for the Art Rooney Sportsmanship Award. He is, of course, the late former owner of the Pittsburgh Steelers. And how about this nugget from Albert Breer of Monday Morning Quarterback at SI.com. He was told Justin Fields apologized to his teammates after the loss to the Falcons, saying, quote, you guys on the defense gave us a chance on the offense and we didn't get it done. We apologize to you. And as Albert reported, that went a long way to the culture in that room. And guys said, don't worry about it. Stop. You're a great player, and we love that you're our leader. But it also sent a message in that room that there is a big-time, big-time upgrade in culture for the Chicago Bears. Uh, Devin Hester, one of 28 semifinalists for the Pro Football Hall of Fame class of 2023. And the Bulls played a very good game last night, pounded on Boston for the second time this year in Chicago, 121-107. Now they step up in class. They go on the road and play the Bucks in Milwaukee tomorrow night. Blackhawks at Dallas Wednesday evening. And finally, People Magazine coming out with their 2022 Sexiest Man Alive issue. Captain America star Chris Evans will be on the cover. An athlete, though, has checked in at number four. Can you guess who it is? Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge, the hottest free agent in baseball. Number four, sexiest man alive. Oh, and one other note that came in this afternoon. The NCAA has awarded the final four for 2028 to Las Vegas. Here's my question. What the hell powers it be took you so long? That's number one. Number two, why don't you just play it in Vegas every year? It's an awesome place to go hang out, party, have a good time. Oh, and catch final four basketball semis and final. Don't be playing in all these different cities. Nobody cares except those cities. But everybody wants to go to Vegas and have a good time. Appreciate you. Have a great rest of your day. See you tomorrow for a recap rush hour. And then we're off Thursday, Friday for the Thanksgiving holiday. But we will have a Bulls recap on Friday night. And then back at it for Bears on Sunday. Appreciate you. Take that. I'm off to the pool now. Two of my kids want to play basketball. They can't handle the smoke I'm bringing. You guys hear that? You can't handle the smoke I'm bringing. They think that's funny. <laughs>